What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. This is going to be a quick one. Really not that much to say about this. So Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League has been delayed to next year, uh, February of 2024, more specifically, which will make it like nine years since Rocksteady has released a game. So it, it's that's kind of insane. Uh, in my opinion, that's almost more insane than the, act, the fact that this game is being delayed again, because I think this is the... This is t this is the second delay, I believe. It's not the third one because if you remember, because um, some people were getting it, were were conflating the two. After this game had its showing, the really bad showing that people were very underwhelmed by, and people thought the game looked terrible, the state of play, I believe it was. There were rumors. I think it came from Bloomberg um, and some other sites that the game was going to be delayed, but Rocksteady themselves took a while to actually confirm it. Now they're confirming it. And it's kind of funny because usually after a rumor comes out that a game is going to be delayed, it comes pretty soon after. I feel like this happened like a month ago when, when the rumor came out since that, since that state of play. So they took their time in actually announcing this. And like I said, I, I, think, uh, I think the fact that Rocksteady hasn't put out a game in, in eight years, well, since this is coming out 2024, that, that feels like it's going to be nine years, I think. I think that's a bigger deal than this game uh, being delayed. Now, Jay, I think Jason Schreier has claimed that the delay has nothing to do with, they claim the delay has to do with um, just polish. It's like a, that, this is like an eight or nine month delay for polish. I don't believe it's just for polish. Typically, developers don't take that much time to just to polish a game. Unless it's like drastic, unless, unless it's something drastic, unless the game is like in very bad condition. But if the game was in that bad condition, I don't know why you would make the uh, make the release date uh, May or June or whenever, whenever the hell it was coming out. You would know that the game wouldn't be able to make that in advance. So I, and, and I think they've denied that the delay has anything to do with the bad reception to the game. I don't believe that either. but. No, in, in like eight or nine months, you can't change the core mechanics of the game. Whatever the game is, the game is going to be. You can't drastically change that now. But I think what they can change, it change is like somewhat of the presentation and the, and the aesthetics of the game. Some of the, I think the visual effects, not the graphics necessarily, but some people were complaining, you know, that the game just looks very much like that typical games as a, as a service aesthetic like and when you kill enemies you got um like perp they're dropping like purple fucking bubbles or whatever you know just that type of shit that people kind of kind of hate to see visually maybe they can change small things like that to make the game a little bit more digestible a little bit more palatable um but of course like other major things like that have to do with gameplay that they can't change like why is you know why is you know killer shark fucking shooting guns um why is everybody playing the same you know why is everybody uh why is everybody flying around and typically play the same and don't have and don't have like unique gameplay um styles i think that's what people are very upset about every yeah the, yeah the characters are going to have some unique abilities but everybody kind of plays the same and that's what people were really turned off by so I do think February is a good month for them because February is kind of like that month, you know, it's the beginning of the year. It kind of kicks off. Some games release like the end of uh, January, but February, uh, especially the beginning, that's when, you know, developers, uh, publishers start to release games. And um, this game was going to be like uh, put, ne put up next to like uh, Jedi and, and, uh, and, um, and Tears of the Kingdom near, near these games. Right. And uh, and then if you delayed it just a few months later, you, then you got to deal with Spider-Man and, and, and Starfield and you don't want it to come out in October and November. No, we don't know what's coming out in October and November yet, but I guarantee you the way people are looking at uh, the way people are, are looking at Suicide Squad, you really don't want it to have any competition. You want zero competition. Because even though people aren't necessarily high on this game, you want to give yourself the best chance. And February of next year probably probably does that. Even though I don't think uh, this delay or even February will 
will save this game. And it's kind of funny because I remember like the conversation was what's going to be better, right? Uh, Gotham Knights or killed or, or Suicide Squad. Most people said it was going to be Suicide Squad, right? Most people thought that uh, Gotham Knights was actually going to be trash. When they were first announced and when we got early showings of them, I actually thought Gotham Knights was going to be was going to be the better game. Like I said, most people thought Suicide Squad was going to be going to be the better better game. It might turn out that they both end up complete fucking garbage. It's it's maybe so we both might be wrong. Who knows? We'll see. But if I had to bet gameplay wise, people may not like people may not like how Suicide Squad plays and and the aesthetic aesthetic of it and everything like that but it will probably have more of a solid gameplay foundation than Gotham Knights has I'll I'll say that so uh yeah that's that's really it that's all I got to say let me know what y'all think if you're looking forward to Suicide Squad what you think about the delay uh and yeah follow me on Twitter hit the notification bell all that good stuff I'll catch y'all on the next one peace